Stages of Freedom, Swim Empowerment. Hey guys, I'm Daniel Adeli. Uh, I go to Classical High School and I'm currently a senior. I swam for Stages of Freedom when they offered me free swimming lessons to swim right here at Lake Eastside YMCA. And I think it's a great opportunity. Everyone went out there and learned how to swim because swimming is really a new way to move and really get yeah. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Rob Gimmick. I am, along with Ray Rickman, co-founder of Stages of Freedom. And we're here today at the Eastside Mount Hope YMCA to announce an extraordinary gift from our uh, U.S. Senator, Jack Reed, who will be speaking uh, shortly along with Ray Rickman, Executive Director of Stages of Freedom, and Stephen O'Donnell, Executive Director of the YMCA of Greater Providence. We want to congratulate Senator Reed and Ray Rickman from Stages of Freedom. We have the YMCA, our board of directors, and our executive director here, Mike Rollins, for allowing this to happen. What we need to know in the public is that we need a lot of young kids of, of, of our community of color pursuing accidents unrelated, no fault of their own. We want to make sure they're in the pool. So, Ray, thank you kindly. And Senator, thank you for supporting this. It's, it's beyond you know, something we can thank you for. So, as long as we are saving one life, two lives, ten lives, Teaching people how to do something life saving and besides swimming, it's safety around water is the ocean safe. So, we're deeply grateful that Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yes, for coming. Uh, it doesn't do any good to have good things happen if the public doesn't know it, and especially in our case, because you won't believe this. Uh, everybody thinks money's everything, staff's everything. In our case, recruitment is number one and recruitment is very difficult i always like to tell people and barbara and i were discussing this the other day swimming is not in certain cultures in the african-american culture 81 82 percent of black people do not swim and it's got to be number 10 on their list of things to do and how do you change that well, you get one member of the family in, and then you get another one. And 20 years from now, it'll be, you know, like Tiger Woods did for tennis. A stages of freedom with a lot of help will make Rhode Island the first state in the nation where people of color want to swim. You don't have to go to the minister, the mother, the next door neighbor, and almost beg them. So I want to tell you, uh, now, you, did you hear me say that money's not all that important? Well, I retract that. <laughs> you ready? So this is Michelle Obama's Quotes to Live By. It is a fabulous book that has not got much play. And on the back of it is my favorite quote, and it applies to our United States Senator. People who are truly strong lift others up. People who are truly powerful bring others together. And every time I read this quote, I actually think of uh, both of our United States senators. We are very, very lucky to have them. I watch uh, the evening news regularly, and I see half the senators in this country. Oh, thank goodness, they don't represent Rhode Island. Uh, we are grateful for the $200,000 to pay for free memberships in the WISE and to pay for hundreds of additional young swimmers. And I want to uh, uh, emphasize the emphasis is on black kids, but the truth is uh, about half of our kids are Latino. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while from West Warwick comes a couple white kids. Uh, we're available to help any low-income Rhode Islander from Westerly to Cumberland, from Tiverton to Burrowville, Burrowville, uh, come and learn to swim. And again, I, I want to stop my comments by saying this again. It is so seldom that anyone gives us real money. Every once in a while in the mail comes a $100 check we have a bell. We ring the bell anytime we get more than $25. And when a person causes the government of the United States to give you $200,000 for Rhode Island kids, 
It is tremendous. And I'll tell you why it's more tremendous than you think. In this entire nation, this may be the biggest swim program going. And in about in the fall, we're going to write to a whole bunch of governors and say, look what Senator Reed did. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks, Senator. right. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, well, first, let me uh, thank uh, Ray Rickman for his vision, uh, for his understanding of the community. Today, we're here really to try to give children a chance. In the minority community, the black community, swimming is not something that uh, is uh, accessible in many cases. It, this is a residual from days of slavery and of racism and of segregation where black men, women, and children were deliberately excluded from the opposite of swim. Today, we understand how critical it is to swim because we lose too many young children who uh, are accidentally thrust in the water and then just can't swim. I know a little bit about the challenges of swimming. I grew up here in Rhode Island. I had access to the ocean. Um, and I thought I was a great swimmer until I went to West Point. And I spent my entire <laughs> plebe year in what is known as the rock squad because I couldn't swim good enough. Well, I finally got past that. But swimming is critical just to protect yourself, let alone to be competitive and do other things. And this is money that will take children, give them the exposure and the opportunity, but also the pleasure and the enjoyment of swimming. And we hope, because of Ray's visionary work along with Ray, uh, Rob, Dimmick, and elders, we hope this will change the dynamic that will soon be something that every family in this state wants to do, anticipates doing, does it together. It's one of the greatest family endeavors you can ever engage in. Now, I want to thank Rob, Ray, they're the leaders, but also want to thank Steve O'Donnell, the YMCA, and for helping us out. And also, um, Mike Rollins. Mike runs this facility, and Mike's in the heart of this. And we've got two great young kids. Um, uh, uh, let me see, Daniel and King. And they're representative of what we want to do and what we Thank you so much. Uh, this is a really great opportunity to really teach other kids, you know, and give them the opportunity to swim. I thank Senator Jack Reed for giving this grant to the University of And I also thank Rob and Mike also mm -hmm. for just having these facilities to be able to do such great things. So thank you. Thank you. All well said. We saved the best to last, obviously, in terms of elocution. Right? Yeah. Cool. For 400 kids.